Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to more Cliché Vikings and Crusader Kings 2. I'm just looking here at my vassals, all 34 of them. <laughs> and uh, I'm just wondering about this law that we're trying to pass, the small feudal tax. Uh, we've got 18 of 54 votes right now. I believe that we need more than a half. So if we go back, have a look at this. We've got the Dagger Fife. I, I don't really care for this. Yeah. Can I... I can't revoke his title, right? I can't imprison him. I can't, uh, I can't retract any vassals. I can't retract his vassalage because he's direct. I think what we're doing is we're just going to grant his independence, right? He's the chief of Fife now. And we're also going to grant this guy's independence as well. Because all that's doing is it's just holding up our, our law from passing. And now our vassals... We can just work on the, the vassals that actually matter. So this guy in Derby. Well, there's lots of guys, actually. But if we can... You know, for example, Thor is fighting a war against these guys. And if we join his war, he'll be happy with us. I think that we do that. I think we go... We fight these guys. Uh, let's let's see what they've they've got in the way. Ooh, they have a lot of packs. Okay. Oh, not too many actually. They're they're all just tribal vassals. So it's not that bad, I don't think. Yeah, I think that we we join his war because I think that helping helping our vassals as much as possible is the good way of doing things. Now, can we? He's not going to do that. Okay. He's many things, including a title claimant and ambitious. Goddamned ambitious trait. So. Let's jump back here. Let's have a look at opinion. Here's another guy. But he's not at war with anyone, so he's just... He is what he is. Yeah, more speaker done. Where is Thor? Come on, Thor. We'll help you with your war, but give me votes. Uh, offer to join war. Subjugation. Ah. We can't join that. That's a bugger. Because it's a subjugation war, I would say. This guy's taking on Thumond. Can we... We can uh, do this. Chief Liam. Is he... He's nobody. Okay. He's installing a nobody on that throne. Right, well, let's, let's go join his war. Okay, so that's plus 22 now. We can possibly send him a gift. It costs us 43 gold. Holy shit. Uh, plus 10. Yeah, you can be the Merc's man, dear. 32. Alright. We've got 18. Right, well, we'll send our retinue out there. To help. Because that involves us not raising our levies. And we're already paying for them. I wonder if they reinforce in foreign countries. That's a good question. Let's find out. Right. Has... Okay, so... This guy of Sussex has just... Uh, Inherited. Oh, this one went the other way, though. And yeah, this guy went to him. So he got Lester. Because that's his brother? 
Yeah, that was his brother that picked up the other title of his father. Interesting. Alright. Let's find out if these guys reinforce in foreign countries. 37 soldiers a month. Okay. So we're starting to see that these... Uh, this retinue is filling up, which is good. <laughs> is that, that monetary drain has been large. Very, very large. So it does. It does reinforce in foreign countries. Nice. Here you go, Thor. Leave the troops, please. And you can read the right, right, right flank. Right flank. I knew what I was trying to say. Okay, let's continue. <coughs> I wonder what's happening here. Ah, wow. So, they are now Germanic. <laughs> Colour me surprised. I was never expecting him to do that, because it's 3.56% per year. Damn. Anyway, let's, uh, let's continue. Died in the, in the dungeons of King... Oh, he is... I am going to murder him. It's another one of our family members that have died at the hands of the Northmen. Uh, the county of Glamorgan. Cool. So we're seeing a lot of titles changing hands here. Which is fine. Uh, kill Stry Rig. No, that's fine. You can do what you please there. I don't really care. We'll release the kids. Uh, they can go. Go home, little little buggers. Go home. We've got two factions. Or we got the one faction, rather. Lower Crown Authority. Uh, and that's because he's a little bit pissy with us, but... You know, he can deal with it. Wow, we are losing... We're losing people here. Like, we're getting less and less people wanting to uh, to help us out he's a foreigner fuck maybe this isn't the best idea to go to small feudal tax because it's going to absolutely kill our opinion when our opinion's already pretty low because of crown authority revocation of infidel titles no longer free so you're telling me if I have an infidel Somebody who is not my religion. How do I find them? Fuck. Uh, hold on. Character finder. Uh, in my search court, search vassals, uh, not my religion. Okay. Is ruler, yes. Search court, search realm, search all. Okay, so uh, everyone, everyone is my religion. Search vassals, search court. Hmm. I feel like I've done something wrong here. Is ruler, yes. Okay. Hmm. Any religion? So they're all. This is all my vassals. Okay, they're all Germanic. This is my court. They're all Germanic. Right. So it's the realm. Everyone is Germanic. Yeah. So why why did I see an infidel? Yeah, sure, there's foreigner, but that just means you're Anglo-Saxon. Hmm. As I've said previously, uh, this game is a game for puzzling. And thinking about things. 
insulted him. Fuck. <laughs> hmm. Because I think when we set up our laws, all right, I think that Crown Authority is where we, medium Crown Authority is where we want to be. I don't think higher Crown Authority is good. I think maybe going to an extra level of centralization would be good because we've got vassal limit right now. In terms of obligations, maybe we go down one to small small levies right because we've got the medium law and then we can lift that taxation hmm yeah let's do that let's cancel this let's go to small levies I dare say this would pass very quickly because they're gonna like it So it is half uh, that we need. And that's actually going to promote some stability as well. So small feudal level levies. Okay, good. We've still got access to 4,000 of them. If we need them. <laughs> that's a lot of men. It is a lot of men. So that's... With that change... I think that we're okay. We need another 10 years before we can go to feudal taxation of small. We keep medium. Uh, maybe we change that at a later date. Who knows? We'll, uh, we'll see. So we have some points we can spend here. I think we go for siege equipment. Help us siege some of these provinces. Uh, and I think we're on to a new war. I believe we can't... No, we can't fight him for another two years. So I think we just go and take uh, Cornwall. Let's go take Devon. Yeah. Well, let's take Cornwall. That's, that's the head province, or the lead province, rather. Okay. All the troops. Here. Go. You can go join the retinue that's uh, still just sieging this down. It's about to finish. There it is. Happy days. And the retinue can come over here as well. Uh, yeah, we lost a fight. So what? Peace offer. Uh, wait, what? Oh, sure. That did end up in our court. He's ended up with the county of Thomond. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm happy with that, but... Who's this? She has no husband. Uh, we're making a move. Hell yeah. We're Viking. We uh, we sex all the things. We have three concubines. None of which are pregnant, by the way. And we've had them for a while now. Actually, you know what? I think we could probably disband our army and not pay this. And just fight this with our retinue. We're going to have 1,500 men. Tempting. Very tempting. Because he's only got the 380. I think that's what we do. Alright, so we've got our retinue here. We'll go and take this. Has called Brittany in. What? Hmm. Since when have you had a pact? God damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Hopefully we don't lose our retinue here. Hopefully they don't just go, boom! Here's 1,500 troops in your face. 
could happen. But not if we give him a bit of a stomping. Uh, this is our niece. Can we arrange a marriage with her? She's a close member. Corland. Let's make sure they're sorted. Yeah, let's send him to him. Her to him. Okay, nice. Done. Uh, this guy. Can we ransom him? No. Can we ransom this guy? No. People for the block. <laughs> has Ragnar. So Goodfred has given up Ormond to Ragnar. Yeah, that's alright. Four point four percent. Cool. We need to appoint a new steward. He wants to become chancellor, and he wants to become steward. Well, we are naturally going to give it to this guy, aren't we? Yeah. Go collect taxes in York. Thank you. We have minor titles that can be given out, so we will give one to Holston. He's uh, quite happy with us. We need a dwarf. Uh, sure. You can be it. I don't want to give out the jester position because that's a negative position. Uh, you can be a cupbearer. The Drosetti can be you. And everything else is filled. Good. Happy days. We're seeing lots of inheritance now. That's why he's not steward, because he went and inherited some land. Or inherited a title, not even land. Has usurped. Has usurped. Has usurped. There you go. So we're about to um, completely wipe Cornwall off the map now. Because uh, this is the last province. And Gwent actually ran this or won this wow is he blinded blinded is permanently blinded and cannot see <laughs> he's also a eunuch he's been <laughs> they've, they did both <laughs> harsh very harsh he's already had his uh, sons so whoever captured him has done a number on him damn that's that's rough, man. That's so rough. <laughs> so this is what? What's this? What's this? Worcester. Uh, Worcester, rather. Uh, so we've only got a couple more months until we uh, have a full retinue. That's so good. I don't think we can hire any more for the moment. No, we can't. Shortly. With a bigger domain, with more things under our belt, we will be able to. But uh, not at the moment, no. Can't enforce our demands yet. But we should be able to, once we win this war. Or this siege, rather. Oriel is being raided by Ulster. This is because they're uh, tribal. And they can do this. They can just jump across the thing and, uh, yeah. But, because it's guarded by a fort, he can't actually take anything. <laughs> Sucks to be him. So, we need another two ticks. Uh, one more tick now. We'll take the siege. Okay, that's uh, 13 gold. I can't believe we, uh, he doesn't just peace out right now. Maybe because it means uh, annihilation. Maybe. It's alright. We've got a city and a bishopric to go. This is a pretty economical way of uh, persecuting a war, I think. Even with the reinforcement costs. Uh, we are definitely going into... We're cruel. There's no way we are doing it. We're going to make, uh, make this guy suffer. He did not... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Our son's 30 years old. Uh, 
he will uh, he'll inherit uh, England when we die. Hopefully that's not anytime soon. I've still got a few more things to do. As on oh, Wessex, interesting. So they're going after Wessex. Where's that? No. It's uh, it's not just Wessex. It's something in Wessex. Where? Conquest of Kent. He's going after Kent. Oh, interesting. So siege, 25, 25 gold. Okay, we'll take the, uh, we'll take it. Enforced demands. We usurped all the things. And this can now go to someone else. This can as well. We need to find a courtier that uh, can have that stuff. I will move our troops up to Northampton. I think, I think what we can do now is firstly, we need to find someone at court that uh, likes us, not the concubines, they obviously don't like us. And <laughs> uh, this guy likes us, is he content? Nope. Nope. Let's find someone, let's search all men, in prison, no, married, any, doesn't matter, ruler, no, diplo range, maybe, uh, join court, yes. My religion, my culture. And what I want is someone who is content. So, I dare say opinion will sort it. He's quick. Doesn't look that, like there's going to be anyone who is content. Let's just search anyway. Content. Ah, here we go. He's wroth. Brave, but arbitrary. Why does he don't not like us? Oh, okay. So who's who's going to like us more here? Zealous, deceitful eunuch. He wants to have a son. He's twenty six. I. Th well, it, that's we're going to have a minus five from him because he's kind. Well, he's kind as well, so. Hmm. I think we go for this guy. Because this guy hates his list. Yeah. Let's let's invite this guy to court. And we're going to give him some land. In particular, the land of... Uh, here. Cornwall. That's what he, we're going to give him. When he arrives. Oil up the rack. We're torturing more people. Alright. So this guy's here now. We can grant him a title. Of Cornwall. Done. And he loves us. Goodford of Cornwall. It will pass outside our realm. Well, that's always the risk, isn't it? We'll just take it back. <laughs> He's been blinded. Uh, someone got him as well. Ooh. If he died, that would actually go to our heir. Or our vassal, rather. Ah, see, now it's reverted to us because he's inside of our domain and it can't pass out of our domain. Nice. So you can see now our monthly balance is really good. It's 12 per month because our retinue has fully reinforced. Nice. <sighs> so where are we at? I think we're at declaring war on Wessex again. And, oh no, we're not. We're not quite there. October next year, we'll be there. We could create the Kingdom of Wales. Hmm. If we created the Kingdom of Wales, Yeah, let's do it. 226 gold. Nice. Done. So this gives us a de jure claim on uh, that county by the looks of it. Yep, 
Two du jour claims now. Excellent. So we are twice king. Siegfried the Cruel of England and Wales. And soon Scotland and Ireland. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Unfortunately, our demands and vassals don't uh, don't increase in size. I think. What what do we need? Eighty percent of its de jure counties, and I got fifty percent currently. Cost you four hundred gold and party. We can almost do it. We could almost almost do it. We just need to take a whole heap more territory before we can uh, create the Empire of Britannia. <sighs> but that's uh, that's a, a future episode, I think. I look forward to seeing you then.